。現在恭請段崇智校長致辭。Professor Rocky S. Tuan, the Vice Chancellor and President, will now address the ceremony. Mr. Chairman, distinguished guests, colleagues, students, alumni, ladies and gentlemen, I stand here today humbled by the trust put in me by the University Council and grateful for the charge given me as the eighth Vice Chancellor and President of the Chinese University of Hong Kong. I'm thankful for the exemplary work done by my seven predecessors who have laid down a solid foundation and steered the university through many avenues of success in the past five and a half decades to make my appointment both welcoming and challenging. I'm further indebted to all members of the university community who have shown both their goodwill and candor since my appointment last July and my assumption of duty just over 100 days ago. I thank all the students, faculty, and staff from the colleges, academic departments, and professional services units, the alumni and benefactors and friends of the university who have been helping me to read and understand the voluminous book which is the Chinese University of Hong Kong. CUHK is truly a great book of learning. It is a classic whose themes and plots have been crafted serially by its first authors and acted upon sequentially in letter and spirit by generations of dedicated students, teachers, administrators, and executives. Reading it verse by verse, chapter by chapter, is a constant source of inspiration for me and will certainly serve to guide me in leading university in the next phase of its development. I am prepared to lead it through the challenges of the times, take it to new heights of excellence and engagement, and pass on its precious legacy. 55 years ago, the Chinese University of Hong Kong was founded with a mission to assist in the preservation, creation, application, and dissemination of knowledge by teaching, research, and public service. The oft-repeated adage from the founding vice chancellor, Dr. Li Zhomin, to combine tradition with modernity and to bring together China and the West has never lost its relevance and guiding vitality. Since its inception, CUHK has been and still is a university steeped in Chinese humanitarian values combined with an international outlook. From its first days, it has opened its door to local students as well as scholars from the mainland and from overseas. The citizenship of international faculty members and students and their integration in the campus life have created a rich bilingual and multicultural setting for personal and intellectual growth. Tradition sits leisurely and comfortably with modernity on our beautiful and scenic campus, whose contours aligned with its water towers, a Tai Chi sculpture, and scenic pools and pavilions, as well as modern auditoriums and state-of-the-art facilities. CUHK is the pioneer and the sole purveyor of the collegiate system in Hong Kong, which is constantly evolving, renewing, reinventing, and upgrading itself. It maximizes in a large mansion the teaching and research critical mass to enhance our students' educational experience, but at the same time delivers to them and each of the little houses pastoral care, and whole person development. Our collegiate system is very much admired by many enterprising younger universities, which have actively sought to replicate it on many campuses in Asia and the mainland. 
General education is another distinctive hallmark of the university. We have been steadfast and ingenious in offering general education courses to our students on both the university and the college level and upgraded the curriculum whenever opportunities beckoned. This liberal education format has continuously aimed to nurture future citizens of the world by providing a whole person education. Critics have often lamented that higher education is increasingly losing sight of the learner in favor of additives such as learning hardwares and job prospects. William Dzerovich, author of Excellent Sheep, The Miseducation of the American Elite and the Way to a Meaningful Life, quipped, instead of humanities, students are getting amenities. While CUHK has excellent amenities to facilitate teaching and learning, we're also putting our freshmen in dialogue with nature and with humanity and through a plethora of non-formal co-curricular activities. All these add a vitalizing dose of humanitarianism to their minds and place their chosen majors in a broader societal context. At half century, the great tome of CUHK is old enough to be an endless source of wisdom and inspirations, but young enough to open up new vistas and whet the appetite for adventure. I am fully aware of my role in authoring the next chapter of this great book and the need for new words and new metaphors to forge new ideas and find new answers. Surely, both opportunities and challenges for CUHK await me. Jungdai 中大在基礎和應用科研方面有極大實力智慧城市以及政治舞台上的角色和配套相继成立了中文大学深圳中国科学院深圳先进技术研究所和深圳研究院对大湾区一带一路等机遇带来的无限可能性我们已是许是代发On a global scale, advances in information and communication technology are rapidly changing how we live and learn with far-reaching effects on the way we run our school and teach our classes. CUHK has been proactive and will continue our pioneering efforts in e-learning innovations to push the frontiers of teaching technologies. On the other hand, it has been said that every two days now we create as much information as we did from the dawn of civilization up until 2003. The world is being shrunken by technology and inundated by information. 
We're all witnesses to some worrisome trends in various parts of the world where the basic code of conduct and mode of communication are being broken and recast. Joel Stein, essay, essayist for Time Magazine, uh, wrote, expressing socially unacceptable views is becoming more socially acceptable. The tech-savvy and cell phone-happy millennials can easily lose their way in the echo cham chamber of tweets and posts or are simply unable to tell truths from post-truths. I'm, however, cautiously sanguine about what education, our education, can do to help. On top of general education, our students' formal curriculum has all along been supplemented and complemented by a variety of experiential learning and service programs offered by the colleges, the faculties, student clubs, and societies. To keep a clear head amidst the rapid firing of feisty remarks and feistier repost, our students can benefit from sharpening their critical faculty to distinguish between facts and opinions while developing their own ethical stance without becoming opinionated themselves and all the while respecting others' opinions. Another challenge to our planet is sustainability. It is sobering to note that achieving the target of putting a lid on the global rise of temperature as agreed upon in the Paris Accord in 2015 is now by no means certain. Last year, 15,000 scientists from 184 countries issued a second warning to humanity, calling for urgent actions to be taken to halt the rate at which the Earth's resources are being destroyed and depleted. CUHK's environmental green tooth developed quite early, probably due to the sense of duty we feel we owe to preserve and conserve this beautiful, naturally endowed campus. We must continue to cherish and practice campus biodiversity and nurture a culture of sustainability that reaches deep into every facet of teaching and learning. Hostel life and day-to-day -day management and procurement routines. More importantly, we, as a center for the generation and concentration of knowledge, must take up a global leadership role in facing the many challenges of sustainable development in the 21st century. Not only do we create and incubate new technologies in tackling these challenges through research and development, most importantly, it is our solemn obligation to educate and inspire our future generations of leaders in sustainable development. I am a full-time leader of Hong Kong. As a young man, I can sit here today. It is a very strange journey for me. It is a kind of unbelievable feeling. Today, the people have also brought me to the core of the core of the core of the core. 同埋核心價值，對於社會交付俾我哋嘅年輕學子，我哋負有極大嘅責任。曾經出任英國首相嘅 Benjamin Disraeli 講過：一個國家嘅青年係後世嘅受託人 ，The youth of a nation are the trustees of posterity。我哋嘅任務就係要保證經我哋培育嘅後世受託人。係學養俱備、有責任感嘅世界公民。喺過去嘅半個世紀，中大培育咗超過二十萬名嘅傑出嘅校友，佢哋喺各自嘅工作同埋服務範疇裏，恪盡己職，多所貢獻。有啲做出成績，廣為人識，甚至受到分許。更多嘅係繼續默默耕耘。潤默無聲，佢哋嘅學養才能可以追溯到我哋嘅實驗室同埋課室。佢哋終身浸木嘅友誼，大概亦都可以追溯到我哋書院裏面嘅飯堂或者運動場。對外面嘅世界嚟講，佢哋嘅面孔成就就係中大嘅代言。佢哋係中大與世界接軌嘅橋梁。
。我哋時時提到學生、老師、校友，好似佢哋分別屬於三個不同嘅中大群體，但其實三者之間嘅界線係非常微妙嘅。喺校園裏面，你可能會遇到一個畢業於中大嘅老師。你嘅同事可能喺度啱啱修讀緊中大嘅碩士課程，咁究竟喺我哋當中有幾多係擁有中大嘅學歷呢？等我話俾你聽啦，我哋教學人員中有百分之四十二係校友，非教學人員中有百分之二十五係校友。總體嚟講，中大現職員工中二十九個 percent 係兼有校友身份。What I just told you in Cantonese is that there is a fairly high percentage of CUHK alumni actually working in CUHK. <coughs> Namely, roughly one in three of the people who work for and serve the university in various ways and capacities are CUHK degree holders. The Latin noun alumnus refers to a foster child or pupil and is derived from the verb alere meaning to nourish. According to John Boswell, a Yale historian, the word has connotation of both a beloved child and a servant. I would like to emphasize the latter element of service or loyalty owed to the place where one has spent probably the most formative years of one's life. I wish to tap this rich resource of talented members of the university alumni community for the good of the university and to shore up and take forward the university's strategic ob objectives of increasing its global profile and presence. I recently saw a photograph in the university gallery, a black and white photograph taken in 1971. In this very photograph, hundreds of students and staff formed a human chain to move books from the old Chongji Library to the soon to be opened Elizabeth Luce Moore Library. I was moved beyond words, for never in the history of higher education has the transmission of knowledge received such a literal enactment. Today's libraries have fewer books, but the university as a communal ground for the generation and exchange of knowledge has not changed. I would very much like to see a higher number of those who have checked out over the years coming home, checking in, and opening the life book to the current crop of CUHK members. The novels of Orhan Pamuk, winner of the 2006 Nobel Prize in Literature, often touch on issues of tradition versus modernity in his native Turkey. The narrator in his The Museum of Innocence says, life was an adventure and there was a beauty in doing things together. In taking the helm of this great university, I'm embarking on the most exciting and meaningful adventure of my life, for sure. I have the incredibly good fortune of being in the same place with you for the duration of my term. I now extend an invitation to you, dear staff, alumni, benefactors, friends, and most important of all, trustees of posterity to join me on this glorious journey that is CUHK. On this day, I accept the seal of the university and enter my name in the university annals as its eighth vice chancellor and president. I solemnly pledge to you that I shall, to the best of my knowledge and ability, cultivate, cherish, and pass on the legacy of this university. 我再次庄严的承诺，定比竭尽所知所能，珍视、守护、延续及发扬大学宝贵的传统。我再次庄严承诺，定比竭尽所知所能，珍视、守护及延续大学宝贵嘅传统。我期望得到你哋嘅支持，听取你哋嘅意见。刻盡己職，衷心感謝你哋今日嚟到呢度，同我分享此重要嘅時刻。Finally, I want to express my gratitude to those who have truly made this day possible. 
First, my deepest gratitude goes to my late parents, whose love, perseverance, teachings, and faith in me forever shaped me and provided me with enduring confidence and hope for the future. I thank my wife, Cecilia, who not only is the one true love of my life, but also an inspiration to me in, in every way. In fact, with her, my late mother-in-law also came into my life, a remarkable lady who brought sparkles of joy in every one of our interactions. I thank my son Chuck for his love and for giving me the most wonderful time watching him growing up and showing me what it takes to be a father and teacher. My siblings for their love and respect and for lighting up my life in more ways than one can imagine. My greater family of relatives, uncles and aunts, cousins, in-laws, nephews and niece, I thank you for making, together making up this rich tapestry of my life. My friends, schoolmates and classmates at St. Joseph's, Queens College, Berea College, the Rockefeller University, and colleagues at Harvard, University of Pennsylvania, Thomas Jefferson University, National Institutes of Health, and University of Pittsburgh, and friends from all over the world, I thank you for your deep friendship and for always welcoming me with open arms. I'm particularly indebted to my teachers from primary, secondary, college, and graduate schools to my postdoctoral mentors, my students, undergraduates, graduate students, postdoctoral fellows, and my professional colleagues and collaborators who have made my journey in science exciting, fulfilling, relevant, and truly satisfying. To me, science is ultimately a team effort, and you have taught me how to learn, share, guide, and lead. Finally, I thank the Almighty God for guiding my every step in life. He has indeed made the role rise up to meet me, put the wind at my back, made the sun shine warm upon my face, and made the rains fall soft upon my fields. And I pray that he will watch over the steps I make at CUHK. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.